Welcome back everybody to season two of A Little Market Insight. I am your host and local real estate agent, Justin Little, and I am super excited for the episode we have today. Firstly, I am joined by Abdella Maj from Revel Realty, where we're gonna talk about some zoning things going on with the city. Yes. Duplexes, fourplexes, triplexes, all and all the, that all kind of plexes, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so thanks so much for coming into the studio. I appreciate yeah. it. Justin, thanks for having me. This is a cool experience and uh, look forward to our chat here. So <clears throat> yeah, going back to uh, you know we our conversation prior, um, Hamilton's gone through some major zoning changes, right, in the last couple of years. Um, I still think there's a majority of the population, the local population, that aren't quite aware of what you can do with these lots that primarily, um, before these changes happen, you could only go up to a legal duplex and there was a ton of red tape and, mm -hmm. you know, you're jumping through hoops. Um, but uh, what we've, you know, been involved with at a high level over the last couple of years especially is educating and organizing ourselves and our clients um, to take advantage of these new zoning changes, right? So again, where before your C and D zoning uh, could only go up to legal duplex, now those lots have been rezoned to R1, R1A, depending on where you are in the city. Um, so they, the initial change came a couple of years ago uh, where they rezoned about 75, 80,000 parcels and they you know, looked deeper into the city still rezoning um, and adding on to that ability of converting your single family home into four units, right? So imagine you've had a duplex in the city for years and you feel that uh, you, know, you can't squeeze any more out of it or intensify it anymore. Uh, I would highly suggest to you know, contact your local kind of power team. Uh, you know, my power team with uh, construction and, and planning with triple five construction management, we have Deck Inc. who handles all of our engineering and planning. Uh, what we do on an education level, educational level, is we're them definitely more so, but constantly talking to the city uh, and you know uh, obtaining more information. Right. So the one thing is with the city of Hamilton. Right. Obviously, a super busy municipality. Hamilton's a very heavy investment scene, and there's tons going on on a daily basis, especially with where the zoning is now. I would say the majority of the population uh, isn't educated on, unfortunately, but you know, to, to no one's fault. Um, and the other thing too is um, uh, these these conversions don't only, don't only stop at four units, right? Um, you know, with with the more senior investors that we deal with that look at uh, you know downtown Hamilton, you've got uh, you've got these you know big all brick. Mm -hmm. type of shells, right, that uh, you'd normally not look at and think, okay, I can convert this into, you know, an apartment building, right? So that's become a, a very uh, popular investment vehicle, uh, you know, for those that are mm -hmm. at that level, um, especially with where, with where CMHC is these days uh, and the amount of and, and the funds that they've dedicated to, to the market. Um, you know, we see people take advantage of you know of their of their mortgage terms uh, quite a bit, uh, especially on the MLI select side. Um, so again, might not be over popular information, but uh, they have three major arms um, in order to obtain like their their highest level of lending, meaning you know uh, your highest loan to value, um, the most competitive rates, and your longest amortizations. So they have an affordability and an accessibility and an energy efficiency arm. Uh, they all have their different processes, um, but it's an incredible opportunity for anything that's five units and up in the commercial world where you can obtain um, these mortgage terms where you wouldn't normally see it uh, through other vehicles on the residential side. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? Like. You know, we're talking about larger units there, but even going back down to the smaller three units, four of units, course. it's so difficult to find information on that. And I think a lot of people don't understand the opportunities they may be sitting on because even like I'm in the industry and dealing with this a lot, yeah. right? It's so hard to find information. And you even brought up this one, like we were talking before we started filming this, you brought up this one scenario that I think we should talk about, um, those development charges yes. going from going from two units 
to three, to three units. units. Yeah. yeah. Can you the, talk about that a little bit? Yeah, hundred percent. So again, like you know, I'm I'm fortunate as a realtor, like before where I didn't have such a, such a power team around me. I was the one running around and getting quotes and pulling in architects and BCINs and all that. Now it's incredible. Like I'm incredibly fortunate that I can just focus on obtaining the the property and then handing it off to construction and planning. Um, but yeah, just something as recent that happened um, that was brought to my attention, not a client of mine, but a client of, uh, our, of our sister companies here where um, there was a conversion from legal duplex to a legal triplex uh, and something changed dramatically in the city as of June 1st um, and the client was facing development charges on that third unit, mm. right? Where normally you wouldn't if you're converting from single family to legal triplex, which is something you know we do at a pretty high level here in Hamilton, um, you know, and it, it came down to uh, our, our planning arm basically going back and forth to the city, having like a a normal conversation about logic and precedence, and uh, eventually they looked at it and they reversed the development charges, and then made made a comment about uh, making making that case an example throughout the city. How much were the charges going to be? I don't know off the top of my head, but they, were, they weren't going to be pretty. Uh, I mean, something I'm sure in like the vicinity of 30 to 50,000. Mm. Uh, and that's, again, that's... Yeah, that's typical development charges for Hamilton. Like right. When you see, depending on what's being built. There, there are definitely projects out there that you just obtain at a, at a, at a number that maybe doesn't exist. And, you know, it's a distressed sale. We, you know, I, I know you and I see a lot of those distressed sales mm. and you know, unfortunately, people going through in, in this economy. Sometimes it may make sense, right? If if I still have that that equity on on the on the exit, then I'm you know I, I, to me it's just reverse engineering. Okay, if if I have a, a thirty to fifty thousand dollars sum that I need to basically you know uh, watch evaporate, but I'm still obtaining the return after the return really after, yeah. then that's a decision you and your team and whomever and your partners have to make, right? So to me, it's not all doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. You just have to be aware because it could more or less destroy, destroy Performa at times, right? Mm -hmm. So, but again, it's about educating, connecting with the right people in the city that, that go through it at a high level. Because to me, it's the, it's the repetition, it's the continuity with the city, right? They, there's, there's a lot of conversation that's had when you're constantly in touch with them, right? Mm -hmm. Again, I'm just fortunate that you know, I'm, I, I can I can rely on my guys to obtain information, and then you know, an email gets circulated, and um, and then I can educate my team, mm -hmm. and I can I can educate my uh, my office as well, right? So, um, you know, lo lots of lots of great great changes Hamilton's made, but it doesn't come without a little a little research for sure. And before scaring people away from ever doing the conversion, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the development charges, typically we don't see it when you're going from a single family to a two unit or a single family to, to a, a three, three unit. unit. Yes. You don't see it, but the fourth for unit some, for sure. For sure you'll yeah. see it on the yeah. fourth unit? On the fourth unit, okay. yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. And then if the, uh, but if you're, but from going from the two to three, they were trying to. to yeah, it, it was something, again, like I, okay. I'm not going to see here. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. This just happened a few days ago and I felt, you know, let's maybe touch base on it, but it was from a legal two to a legal three. Okay. Not from a single family to a legal three. Okay. Right? So um, then again, there was a, a crossover date and... Yeah. Right? Which and again, you think they wouldn't be charging this just because we're talking about all the issues with affordability and stuff. You would think that this would be something either minimize it or get rid of it to allow... Yeah. Because in and, the long run, aren't they going to charge more taxes after it's been converted? Of course, yeah. The they're going to reassess and we all know Hamilton, yeah. you know, is... Uh, is not the prettiest as much, you know, so yeah. I love the city. I've been here almost my whole life, but uh, the taxes and, you know, property taxes in general are on the higher side, right? If, yeah. And not all the province. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, of course, they're going to reassess once you convert those as well. Um, so, they're, they're, yeah, they're, there's a lot you got you to gotta be mindful of, right? For sure. Yeah. For sure. And people can reach out to you if they need more information on that. But I yeah. appreciate you of coming on the show. We're all out of time for the segment, unfortunately. But yeah, they just whizzed by. We could keep going them. for another 20, for 30 another minutes, yeah, I think. 100%. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining, Adele. I really appreciate yeah. it. Awesome. Thanks, Justin. Coming up next, we are heading on the road with Safe from Newport Construction, where we are going to be talking about garden suites.